Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here I'm again with another video assignment. So this is Namita from Information Science and Engineering Department studying at Sri Vinteshwara College of Engineering. So the topic of today's video is three schema architecture from the subject database management and systems. The contents of this video are introduction to three schema architecture, ex uh, the types external, conceptual and internal schema, data independence, schema mapping and translation, its advantage, disadvantages, its example scenario and conclusion. First, introduction to three schema architecture. Three schema architecture is a conceptual framework used in database management systems to separate the logical and physical aspects of data storage and management. It consists of three layers, external schema, conceptual schema and internal schema. This architecture provides flexibility, modularity and abstraction in database design and management. External schema. The external schema represents how individual users are up or applications perceive and interact with the database. It focuses on specific requirements, views and access rights. Multiple external schemas can exist to cater to different users, groups or applications. Conceptual schema. The conceptual schema represents the overall logical structure of the entire database. It defines the relationships, constraints and integrity rules of the data. This schema provides a high level of the view of the database independent of any specific user or application. Internal schema. The internal schema represents the physical storage and access methods used by the database. It defines how data is organized, stored and retrieved on the underlying hardware. This schema is hidden from users and applications, providing a layer of abstraction. Data independence. Three schema architecture provides data independence, allowing changes in one schema without affecting the others. <coughs> external schema changes do not impact the conceptual or internal schema, promoting flexibility and scalability. This independence reduces the impact of modification and enhances system maintainability. Schema mapping and translation. Schema mapping is the process of defining relationships between the external and conceptual schemas. It ensures that user views are correctly mapped to the overall database structure. Schema translation involves converting queries from external schemas into the conceptual schema language. Advantages of three schema architecture, separation of concerns, data abstraction, enhanced security. So first, separation of concerns. Each schema focuses on a specific aspect, facilitating better design and management. Next, data abstraction. User interact with the database through external schemas without worrying about the underlying complexity. Enhanced security. External schemas provide access control protecting sensitive data from unauthorized access. And the disadvantages of three schema architecture. Additional complexity, increased overhead, potential inconsistency. Additional complexity. Managing multiple schemas requires careful coordination and maintenance. Increased overhead. The translation between schemas can introduce performance overhead. Potential inconsistency. If mappings between schemas are not properly defined, data inconsistencies can occur. And the example scenario of the three schema architecture. Uh, let's consider a university database with different users such as students, professors and administrators. That is the office people. Each user group has different access requirements and views of the database. Three schema architecture allows the university to define separate external schemas for each user group. So this is why the three schema architecture is used. And the conclusion of three schema architecture is <coughs> three schema architecture in DBMS provides a 
structured approach to database design and management it separates the logical and physical aspects of data storage promoting flexibility and data independence proper implementation and maintenance of the three schema architecture layers ensure efficient and secure database operations thank you